so i welcome you all in the second part of brachial plexus in first part of this series we have done with surface location anatomy anatomy in anatomy of brachial plexus with root trunk division cord and their respective branches in this part we will be covering clinical relation or clinical manifestation related to brachial plexus uh, in previous video i covered this brachial plexus uh, and a simplified way to draw a brachial plexus in which we did roots trunk division cord and branches c5 c6 c7 c8 t1 c7 c8 t1 are the root of brachial plexus related to this we are going to learn today the clinical manifestation of brachial plexus so there are mainly two uh, two relation clinical relation related to brachial plexus which are mainly herbs paralysis right here herbs paralysis and clumpy's paralysis uh, one by one we will deal with both of them so before starting herbs paralysis i would strongly recommend you to go and check out my first part of brachial plexus because it is related to that video almost here herbs is no one but a scientist uh, a discoverer name who discovered this type of paralysis in herbs paralysis uh, site of injury is upper trunk of brachial plexus uh, in previous video we did with this is upper trunk so in herbs paralysis there is injury to the upper trunk you can see right here upper trunk six nerve meet at this point you can see c5 c6 ventral division of upper trunk dorsal division of upper trunk so here there are only four div four nerves meeting at upper trunk i would like to redraw it this is c5 c6 extending merging ahead ventral division dorsal division here the upper trunk gives two more branches two more branches these branches are nerve 2 these branches are nerve 2 suprascapular and this one branches nerve 2 supra nerve 2 subclavius so this was the first point site of injury is upper trunk of brachial plexus now i would like to draw these two branches this is upper trunk of brachial plexus here is the injury six nerve meet at this point c5 c6 root value upper trunk ventral division dorsal division nerve to suprascapular and nerve to subclavius okay so we are done with this two points now root involved is c5 and c6 as here given so causes of injury what caused the injury to the upper trunk points are birth injury fall on the shoulder or during anesthesia now i would like to show this is when a man falls on his shoulder injury to the upper brachial plexus leading to excessive increase in the angle between shoulder and the head this is the excessive increase in the angle between the shoulder and the head leads to the leads to the injury to the upper trunk of the brachial plexus 
fall from the height and landing on the shoulder b birth injury this is traction of the arm and hyperextension of the neck same there is over angle between the shoulder and the neck leading to the injury of upper trunk during anesthesia uh, during anesthesia mean when we are giving anesthesia the injection needle is by mistakenly uh, it by mistakenly damages the upper trunk leading to uh, injury of nerve deformity now i would like to show you that how the paralysis in general is observed with the help of this model this is arm this is forearm this is palm so here is the given characteristics of this paralysis arm adapted and medially rotated arm get stick to the central body adapted and medially rotated right here uh, like this is the arm it medially rotates in this fashion it medially rotates this is for the arm forearm extended and pronated this is forearm it is this is flexion this is extension forearm is extended and pronated in opposite direction so this is supination this is pronation so forearm is pronated this is supinated this is pronated and wrist flexion at wrist joint this means like this you can see right here arm medially rotated adapted medially rotated forearm extended and pronated pronated and wrist flexion like this so this type of when seen this type of paralysis when it is seen it is also known as policeman's tip hand or waiter tip means when we are giving tip to policeman we are giving them from back so they imitate this type of action give it from the back not from front not like this from back like this now you see you can see this herbs paralysis of right arm see as simple as that so we are done with herbs paralysis now going with clumpy's paralysis uh, very easy same here site of injury is lower trunk of brachial plexus this is the lower trunk of brachial plexus so uh, just tell me what are the roots involved in this lower trunk of brachial plexus yes c8 and t1 <clears throat> so nerve root involved is c8 and t1 lower trunk of brachial plexus cause of injury birth injury clutching sometimes with hands clutching something with hands after a fall from height i would like to show you this is this is birth injury injury of the lower brachial plexus leading to excessive increase in angle between trunk and shoulder this is trunk and this is shoulder excessive increase of angle between trunk and shoulder leads to injury in lower trunk uh, lower trunk of brachial plexus see in this image it is more clear when this boy was falling he grabbed one of the branch which lead to excessive increase between angle between the his trunk and arm leading to damage of lower trunk now this must be clear to you sometimes birth injury 
clutching something with hands after a fall from a height deformity unopposed action of long flexor muscle flexor muscles are present in our palm so flexor muscle help in flexion of phalanges this thing see right here and this is unopposed action of long flexor muscle and second hyper extension of metacarpophalangeal joint this is metacarpal this is phalanges metacarpal pharyngeal joint hyper extension uh, like this hyper extension this is extension this is hyper extension and this is flexion flexion extension hyper extension so what is again revising first point flex unopposed action of long flexor muscle means uh, extensor muscles are paralyzed so the phalanges will always be ex uh, flexed because the extensor muscles are now paralyzed leading to flexion of phalanges like this this was our first point and hyper extension at metacarpopharyngeal joint metacarpopharyngeal like this leading to leading to complete claw hand this is our clumpy's paralysis can you see this is our complete claw hand flexion at phalanges and hyper extension at metacarpopharyngeal joint so we are done with both herbs paralysis we are done with both herbs paralysis and clumpy's paralysis hope you find this video a bit helpful for you thank you